we started uh, in the fall of 2010. Okay. So a fairly short amount of time. Uh, it was October 2010 when we actually started playing our first shows. And where are you located? Where, where do you start at? Where's your home base? Well, our home base is San Francisco. Okay. And we were born and raised in the core of San Francisco. And uh, we're studying in a club called Cafe Kokomo, which uh, at some point was voted one of the top Latin clubs in the country. Right. That's our, our home base. Mm -hmm. And we started playing every Monday night for an entire year. Wow, that's fantastic. Now, let's talk about how San Francisco Bay Area has received you guys. I understand you're taking <clears throat> the city by a storm, if I can use that <laughs> term. <laughs> yes, you may. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Uh, we were uh, very fortunate to uh, hit a nerve, I think, with our music because this kind of music had been lost for about, what, like 30, 40 years or something since the 1950s, 1960s with the great mambo bands, uh, the likes of Tito Puente, Machito, uh, Tito Rodriguez. And then it kind of got lost, you know, and uh, and we we kind of uh, resurrected it. Resurrected it, you know. Yeah. We kind of did something of that, you know, right. and uh, right. got the heartbeat pumping again. Right. And uh, and uh, it hit a nerve, and and we were really really well received. We got a lot of support from our people in the Bay Area. So it's like a lot of people were craving that Renaissance. Right. Yes. And the way we made it happen is to bring it back with the core roots, but also bringing that modern spice, right. making it sound something modern something that is uh, more for our days Fantastic. And, uh, now let's talk about your connection how did you guys connect and bring up the the rest of the band and to where it's a 19 piece <laughs> and let's talk about what pieces are in the 19 piece <laughs> you're breaking down all right let's start, let's start with that uh, we have uh, a full-blown traditional horn section which consists of four trumpets okay. four trombones and five saxophones wow. and then we have the traditional uh, latin percussion section which is timbales congas, uh, bongos, then we have piano, bass, and, bass. and a couple of front singers actually. So uh, if we Sometimes have, we actually end up in 20 people. Well, sometimes we're 20. <laughs> wow, so you're expanding. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Growth or being together. How surprised are you that you're nominated for a Grammy? <laughs> it's, uh, it's very uh, rewarding, I would say. Surprising, it is surprising, but I also believe that this has been the result of uh, hard work, not only from us, but also from every single musician in the band who had put a lot of uh, heart and they believe in the project since day one. Mm -hmm. It's been a community effort. And so it's a combination of things. So we are very surprised, but also very honored to be representing the Bay Area. Right. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And now let's say, when that day is arrived, <laughs> and they, they said, Pacific <laughs> Orchestra, yeah. what will your reactions be? Well, after I got up from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, I think, uh, I don't know, because uh, as many of you guys know, we're competing probably w with some of the biggest names in the genre, in the industry happening right so now. So, give me, give, who's your competition? Uh, let them know who <laughs> you're up What's his name? Uh, uh, I forget, uh, Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony, yeah. Anthony, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, well, you know, you guys probably know he's in the, probably the, the icon right now right, for right, tropical right. music. Right. So we're competing against him. So you're on that plateau. You've reached a level yeah. so quickly, and I'm sure that people are looking and saying, taking oh, note, yeah. hey, these guys are serious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. yeah. Yeah, now let's talk about the album. Mm -hmm. Talk about what is the hot song or hit on the album. I'm sure all of them are hot, but yeah. what's the biggest yeah. one that brings people Make them overjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gave it away. He gave it away. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be, I, I think, the one that most people talk about is uh, Overjoyed by Stevie Wonder uh, that we covered for the record. Mm -hmm. And we, we had uh, the, the uh, fortune, I want to yeah. say, yeah. to have Kenny Washington, the jazz singer from the Bay Area, which is uh, in, uh, beyond fantastic uh, exactly. jazz singer. Uh, rec record that for us. Um. And of course, the, the approach is Latin. You want right. to hear Stevie Wonder song in in mambo in Latin, right. which is, makes a huge difference. And this is one of the main hits. Uh, Overjoyed is yeah. one of the most downloaded uh, yeah. tracks in the, on iTunes, for mm -hmm. instance. Yeah. But also, it, it's also geographically interesting because if we go uh, over and ask people from Colombia, right. track number four, which is La Misión, okay. which is considered salsa dura. You know, like hardcore salsa. Right. That's probably the most popular in in Colombia. In Colombia. And yeah. we just found out that in England, the 
Big Band Bachata, which is the first time it's been done right. on the record, that yeah. the Bachata style, which is hot right now in the Latin community, sure. it's been performed by a big band in a, in a orchestral format. Right. So that's one of the that's hottest tracks in England. In so England really? right? so yeah. okay. it's, it goes geographically. Yeah. So your fair. music is transcontinental, if we could say. Yes, that's that's global. Global. In the global. global. Yeah. 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 And that yeah. was yeah. Our, our, our goal and aim from the beginning on. We wanted to cross over yeah. and bring not only the Mambo Big Band back and sure. just just warm it back up. Right. We wanted to move it forward, you yes. know, and we, we when we were sitting down talking about the concept of the record, sure. we're just like, let's take some chances, you know, let's not let's not hold back, let's not be right. fearful. You know, it's like right. do what we think what we like. Yeah, you know? we didn't want to uh, um, put something that is only for the Latin community yeah. that only knows salsa, you know? Yeah. We said all the people that know know nothing about how really this music and the mechanics of it works. Yeah. You know, we really want to reach people that don't know anything, uh, people that are jazz lovers, R&B lovers, or even pop music. You know, yeah. that's our main goal to really yeah. reach and show them and, and draw them in, draw them in to, to this music, which is yeah. so rich. Now, let me tell you, when I heard "Overjoyed," yeah. you know, I might have been a little low on joy. <laughs> but I tell you, when I heard it. I, my joy went to the top level. I was overflowing with joy. You know what I mean? It was Thank tremendous. You. It was interesting. <laughs>